try this one on for size. There is a new queen in the women's bantamweight division. And I'm going to say this once, and it's not going to get any easier for people to understand. But Juliana Pena defeated Amanda Nunes by rear naked choke in round two to become the new apex predator in that weight division. And wow, there is just no other way to comprehend this. And this probably ranks as the greatest upset in mixed martial arts for this year. Uh, I don't think it gets any bigger than this. And there are a couple of ways to cut it. The audacity to even think about beating Amanda. The audacity to, to stand up against her and to finish Amanda Nunes, Juliana Pena, you know, who for a lot of MMA fans, you know, myself included, wasn't necessarily on the radar. She was essentially, you know, the lamb to the lion, but she proved that she wasn't going to be a speed bump for Amanda Nunes's highlight reel and produced a victory of the, of the type that, you know, is going to be so memorable, even if, you know, she has ends up, you know, losing this later down the line, because what this represented is just such an amazing thing for mixed martial arts. Now let's talk about the fight itself. I'm going to... There, there goes the phone, but I'm going to ignore the first round. For the la for the most part, Juliana Pena, um, you know, kind of got dominated by Amanda Nunes, especially within the grappling exchanges. Uh, but let's go to that second round. And in the second round, Juliana decided that enough is enough. And given that Juliana came in with a, a very high grappling pedigree, I thought it was really interesting that when she was letting her hands go, and she was... She was finding success, albeit, you know, when you look at Juliana Strike, you're never going to necessarily mistake her for, you know, an A-grade striker. It's a, it's a very practical motion. It's pretty wild. I mean, if, if, if you want to call it like that. But she was touching up Amanda Nunes. And what she was effectively doing was, you know, putting a stake in the sand and telling Amanda that from a physicality perspective, I'm not going to get dominated. From a perspective of a competitor, I'm not going to get dominated. And she mounted that there. And there was a point within the striking exchanges that I think she jabbed Amanda four times straight in the face. And it was absolutely amazing to watch a dominant champion such as Amanda Nunes face this level of adversity, which she necessarily hasn't faced. Junior, Juliana rather was able to get an amazing, um, you know, a takedown. I can't remember exactly, but she... She was able to, to, to roll Amanda. And the finishing sequence to me just absolutely still doesn't make sense. I mean, it was a rear naked choke. She didn't necessarily have, you know, the hooks in. Uh, I think Amanda was in a turtle, turtle position. But she was able to get the tap. And Amanda tapped so quick. Um, you know, for the individuals that I was watching the fight with, I, I kind of hypothesized that potentially she had broken her nose because seemingly the hooks went in if she wasn't really flattened out i mean you know the elements for a classical rear naked choke weren't necessarily there but you know all you need is to get under as i got reminded you know get under the chin and she did there and you know apart from the you know the specifics of the fight itself i think what juliana pena really showed here was the ability to stick with conviction stick with a dream and to really really believe in it and to achieve it. And to see that from any perspective in any walk of life, one can only appreciate that.